think Global Health Trips is really valuable because what I've seen is that it really creates a sort of knowledge network between all sorts of students, undergraduates, graduate students, medical students, who were working in all different parts of the world. And so I think it's really great um, to see the sharing that's taken place tonight. So many um, students at Duke do excellent and fantastic work all over the world. And this is a really important reflection session to get um, us to share our ideas and process that internally um, so we can uh, grow more from um, our reflections. My name is Julie Rivo. I am a sophomore in Trinity, uh, currently getting a Global Health Certificate uh, undeclared major. I did Duke Engage this summer uh, in Laogon, Haiti, partnering with a Durham-based NGO called Family Health Ministries. With uh, two other Duke students, we did two projects, one focusing on maternal mortality and the other a post-earthquake analysis of um, healthcare resources in this city. This was my first time doing field work research. I had lived in other countries, um, but I've never actually done research. And I did learn, learn a few things about um, doing research. One was that what you're doing has to be of utmost necessity to the people there, and they have to believe that they are getting something out of this. Um, not necessarily in a short-term way, but in a long-term way that this is something that um, they want to be done. And I think that our um, the way we went about our project addressed this. I conducted all these uh, interviews out in the field in intense cities and um, just being a part of these people's lives and talking to them um, in their homes and in their tents about very tragic events and seeing how willing they were to talk to us was just truly remarkable. They are an incredibly strong people and they want to see uh, motherhood become safe. I am currently on the path to go to medical school, um, but I've always wanted to do it with a global um, focus. I love traveling and love being um, in other cultures, even if this means uh, in engaging domestically um, in, others, in other communities. Um, and so this is definitely something that just has been reinforced by my summer. Uh, Josh Greenberg, um, 2011, and I went to Uganda. We carried out a survey and focus groups in 2009, and one of our big findings was that access to water, so both distance to and the quality of water, were very significant challenges in this area. And so after holding a number of discussions with community members uh, during 2009, we reached the conclusion at their suggestion that we implement a rainwater harvesting program. I think this experience was really interesting for me because it was my second time returning to the community, yet in some ways I learned many things all over again. So while we went into this summer thinking that we knew so much from last year and, and were so many steps ahead of the game, and in many ways we were, at the same time we were working on a completely new project. The skills that, that we took away, whether it was um, learning how to program uh, a survey electronically in, in a software package called CS Pro, or learning how to train enumerators to collect da data, or learning how to do GPS mapping. Um, all these skills are, are tremendous skills that we'll carry with us because one thing that we're trying to do in the services that we deliver is really emphasize evidence-based programs and, and, and make everything very data-driven. And we plan to maintain this partnership with Koshonji and Chitura sub-counties for a long time to come. My name is Braveen Raghunanthan. I'm a junior in Trinity, majoring in public policy and the global, getting the Global Health Certificate. And I was in uh, South Africa and Ethiopia this summer. In South Africa, I was working in a rural hospital in a Shawe, KwaZulu-Natal, which is an hour and a half outside of Durban. And in Ethiopia, we traveled to um, Mekele, Addis Ababa, and Zuai, three different regions around the country doing a deworming project. I learned uh, so much about global health. I, um, the, the deworming project was actually inspired from uh, Professor Broverman's class my freshman year in Global Health Focus, where we learned about the uh, great impact of um, uh, interventions against neglected tropical diseases, specifically soil transmitted helminths and schistosomiasis and how cost-effective the strategies are to combat these uh, worms, essentially, uh, that are so prevalent around the world. Global health really is, is the, my life's purpose, I feel. And this summer, I, I felt like, you know, before maybe I was 
0.9% sure, but now I'm 100% sure. Um, this the the experience of you know both experiencing two countries, Ethiopia and South Africa, was it was life changing. Before I, I my parent, parents are from Sri Lanka originally. I've uh, traveled to Sri Lanka many times before, as well as India, and uh, I feel that um, global health is definitely the, the direction my life wants to head. And um, I, I'm definitely very interested in, in uh, studying infectious diseases as well as um, uh, neglected tropical diseases and um, seeing wh whatever way I can um, contribute to um, uh, the work in those fields.